Hi guys, welcome to Cloud Tech. In this video, we are going to discuss everything about Lambda expression. We are going to discuss all the questions which were asked in the previous interviews regarding Java. So watch the video till the end to understand all about Lambda expressions functionality in Java. So let's get started with the video. Can you tell me what is Lambda expression? Uh, yes. Lambda expression is used to implement uh, your functional interfaces. That is one point. And Lambda reduces the amount of code that is required uh, while implementing functional interfaces. So these are the two main important features of Lambda expressions. Okay. So can you tell me how uh, to write the Lambda expression, at least the syntax? Uh, yes. So Lambda expression syntax uh, goes this way. So uh, you have a list of parameters. So consider this is your argument list argument list uh, then you have this arrow token and then you have the actual implementation of your uh, lambda expression or function interface implementation okay so the first part is your argument list uh, then you have arrow token and then you have the actual implementation in curly braces if there are multiple statements and if there is only one statement then you can even skip this curly braces so this is the uh, syntax for your lambda expression Okay, perfect. Can you write a functional interface? Let us consider drawable is your functional interface and you have to write a draw method inside that interface. So make sure it is a functional interface because it will contain only one method and you have to use Lambda expression and uh, the traditional approach without using Lambda expression. You have to implement that draw method. So can you show me it without using Lambda expression and with using Lambda expression, how to implement it? Yeah, so uh, you want one functional interface or uh, drawable, and then I need to provide implementation of that functional interface without Lambda expression and with Lambda expression. Okay. Yes, correct. All right. So let me create uh, one interface. I'm going to call this as uh, draw table. And uh, this is going to be your functional interface. I'm going to annotate this with uh, functional interface. And this is going to have uh, one. Uh, method, which is known as draw, it is going to return void and it is going to accept one parameter known as width. Okay. So it accepts one parameter and it does not return anything. That is the reason it is void and the interface name is drawable. Now I'm going to uh, use a traditional approach, which is without, uh, without uh, Lambda expressions. So let's try to give the implementation of this uh, drawable. Uh, drawable D is equal to new drawable. So I need to uh, give, uh, I need to create a new object or provide the implementation of drawable. And then I need to override your draw method. So let's try to override uh, the draw method and just print the value of width. So sys out drawing plus width. So this is the traditional approach by which we can give implementation of any interface. And now when I call this, d dot draw and i pass for example five from outside when i run this program it gives drawing five but you can see just to give implementation of this draw method i have to uh, create uh, or give implementation of this drawable new drawable and then i have to override this uh, draw method and then provide implementation so there is a lot of code that is being involved in a uh, traditional way of coding so Java it made it uh, simple. We can write less code and achieve the same functionality. So let's try to achieve this without using uh, Java, without using a traditional approach or by using Lambda expressions. So I'm going to, uh, this method is going to demonstrate how to uh, achieve the same functionality using Lambda expression. So I'm going to call uh, D Lambda, okay. And as we saw, the syntax is argument list and then the array token and then your implementation. So let's try to use the same thing. I'm going to use um, integer width. So this is my argument list. I have only one argument for this Lambda expression. And then I'm going to use array token as we saw in the syntax. And then I'm going to uh, provide the implementation of your drawable. So within this, I'm going to uh, sys out, which we'll just copy from above. And I'm going to save this. As you can see, it is very simple now. You don't have to create a new object. You don't have to uh, give the syntax of your uh, method. 
you just have to uh, use argument list you have to use array token and then the implementation now you already implemented uh, the same functionality or achieved the same functionality using lambda expression now let's try to call this uh, d lambda so i'm going to do d lambda dot uh, draw and this time i'm going to pass 10 and here just to distinguish a drawing from lambda okay so the first functionality is where we are going to draw with five and this is traditional way of doing things and then we are drawing with 10 and this is the lambda way of doing things so let me run this you can see drawing five this is traditional way and drawing from lambda 10 so this is traditional uh, this is uh, the lambda way now you can see the amount of code uh, it's very less code in java 8 uh, so that's how we achieve the functionality uh, in traditional and in uh, uh, java 8 world okay do we need to write these curly brackets which are wrapped uh, to wrap the definition uh, if if you, you have only one statement then generally you don't need it i can uh, even remove this curly braces and uh, it will still work the same because i have only one statement if i have more than one statement in that case you have you will have to use uh, curly braces so let's try uh, without curly braces and uh, it, it gives the same output because it, it has do we need one. to provide the data type for the parameter uh, no, we don't have to provide. So if it is, uh, in, it is already known from your interface that uh, it is integer. So you don't even have to provide the data type. You can remove the data type. So uh, this is how you can achieve without data type. Okay. Can you uh, write uh, the method with a return type? So you can go into drawable and change the return type of draw method to be integer. Uh, yes. Okay. So at the moment, uh, nothing is being returned from, I'll remove the traditional implementation first. Okay. Now, uh, at the moment, nothing is returned from drawable and your requirement is to uh, return something. For example, I'll return um, integer. Uh, I'll accept one thing and return one thing. So let's try to um, solve this problem. So to solve this problem, uh, as we have only one line, so we don't, we haven't provided curly braces, but uh, now we are going to give the return statement as well. So just pass, or just add curly braces to this. Okay. And then we are going to return width, for example. Okay. So if there is a return type, then you can add this line, which is return width from your Lambda expression. So let me try to run this program uh, drawing from Lambda 10. And also we can take this value here in teacher width you can also sys out from here sys out return value and then your width so this is the width that we are getting um, as a uh, return value from your lambda expression so return value is 10 this is how we return from lambda expression okay perfect so that's working as expected Thank you guys for watching this video. Bye. Thanks guys for watching this video. If you uh, like our content, then please like and subscribe. Thank you guys. Bye-bye.